So Chaim Kanievsky says the following idea about kvayit chaveim about honoring one's friends and honoring another Jew. And he says, "Advarim yiduim." It is known, "Shemisha mechabedes avir." Somebody who gives honor, who respects other people, "Hakoil gamke mechabdin oisay." Everybody will honor and respect him as well. Well, the hepach and the opposite is also true. Someone who doesn't respect and honor other people, "Hakol mevazen oisay." Everyone will be mevazen, will disgrace and embarrass them. And then he says a beautiful idea. It's not like we learned in the in the Mishnah Pirkei Avos. Ezehu mechubad. Who is an honorable person? Hamechabed es abriyos. Somebody who gives honor to others. V'shemati me'agon etzali gerbitzvi kubshitz zatzali says in Chaim Kanievsky. He heard a very beautiful pshat in this Mishnah. Al Mishnah Hashem ben Zayim Oimer. And that Mishnah says the following. Ben Zayim says Ezehu chacham. Who is a wise man? Everybody knows, whoever learns from every person, that's a sign of his wisdom. Ezeo Giba, who is a, a strong person, the person, not the one who pumps iron, the one who knows how to control his Yitzhahara. Ezeo Ashi, who is a rich man, not the billionaire, somebody who is happy with his portion, his lot in life, that's a rich man. Ezeo Machuba, like we said, who is honorable? Someone who honors the other people. So he says like this, a very beautiful pshat. The Mishnah answers these four questions, the opposite of what the entire world thinks the answers would be. The world thinks the following: Who's a wise man? Someone who's so smart that everybody comes and asks him questions. And he doesn't have to go and ask anybody a question. He must be the real Chacham. He must be the real genius. But the Mishnah says the exact opposite. He said, Chacham was a wise man. Someone who goes around and learns from everybody else. That's a sign of wisdom. The world thinks, who's a Giba? Who's a strong person? Someone who's strong and can outdo anybody else. Nobody could beat him, nobody could battle him. They have all these wild boxing matches, the guy with the biggest muscles, he's the one, nobody can beat him. He's the heavyweight champion of the world. He's the strongest guy. No. The Mishnah says, it's the exact opposite. That what? Ezeo Gibo is a strong man. Someone that knows how to subdue and control the Yetzar which is inside of him. And he can give in to others. That's a sign of strength. Then, then the Mishnah goes on. Who's the rich man? The guy that works all day long, making money, more money, more money, more money. The Mishnah said, no, it's the exact opposite. Who is the rich man? Someone's happy with his lot. Everybody thinks, who is the honorable person? Misha Komechabdin Isai must be someone that everybody accords honor and respect to. They say, Oh, he's such a hush of a person. He doesn't have to go and honor anybody else because I'm the most prestigious. I'm the most honorable. And the Mishnah says it's exactly the opposite. Who is the honorable one? Hamechabin is the one who gives honor to others. That makes them an honorable person. If you can recognize the good in others and you could humble yourself to honor somebody else and not worry about your own covet, your own honor, and your own glory, and your own reputation, that's the sign of an honorable person. V'Hashem Yizbarach Yazreinu says of Chaim Kanievsky, he offers up a small prayer over here, but it's really a big tefillah, a big prayer. Hashem should help us. Here to be careful, to be careful with the honor and the respect that we give to our friends. It could be that I told over this Maisa when Rav Chaim was Nifter. I have a good friend who in Eretz so who grew up in Bnei Brak, and he learned in Panovitz Yeshiva. Panovitz is the famed Yeshiva in Bnei Brak, and he was friendly with all the grandchildren, many of the grandsons of Gedei Le'Yisrael, of the leaders of the Jewish people. Amongst them, he was very friendly with a lot of the grandsons of Rav Chaim Kanievsky. So he grew up with them. 
And if you're friends with the grandson, you know, like when your grandkids go over to the Gazzani's house, so he went over to Reb Chaim's house. That's where he would hang out. That's how he grew up. He was grow, grew up hanging out in Reb Chaim's house, and he was he was very close to him, so close that whenever I went to Eretz Yisrael, it was no problem. You want to go to Reb Chaim? Come, we'll go. You get in right away. So he said he grew up. Reb Chaim knew who he was. He was a very good friend of the grandchildren, and even when he was a young boy, he said Reb Chaim used to entertain his questions, give him time when he would come and ask for something. So he said they were once by some kind of, a, I don't know, simcha or something. And he came, he was a young, he was a rather young boy at the time, and he sat down next to Rav Chaim Kanievsky. And he started talking to him in learning, they were talking some Torah concept, Torah, Torah topic, on the, the level of this child. He, whatever he was, eight, nine years old, on his level. And they were busy talking, and one of the defendants of Rav Chaim Kanievsky's time saw Rav Chaim sitting there talking to this little kid, and he got upset. So he walks over right up to Rav Chaim Kanievsky and this young, and this young boy, and he says, come on, get out of here, get out of here. His time is valuable, it's precious. When you're wasting his time, there's other people that want to talk to him. So he, the boy felt bad. He said, I didn't realize. Taka didn't realize I was taking up his time. He's talking, he's right, I didn't realize that. So Rav Chaim Kanievsky turned to the man and he said, excuse me, you're disturbing us. Can't you see that I'm talking to this young boy in learning about Torah right now? Excuse me. The boy said, you don't know how that made me feel. You can't underestimate that one exchange of words when recognized as one of the G'dayli Adur, the leaders of the generation, tells an adult, please, Leave us alone. I'm busy talking to this young boy over here. We're having an important conversation. That, says of Chaim Kanievsky, is the honorable person. You think it looks silly? Rav Yaakov Kamenetsky, Zechizanik Livrocha, it was known that when anybody would come and ask him a question, he would stand up out of deference and respect for them. Even if a child would come over to him in the base midrash and he was sitting there in this chair, if a child would come over and say, Can I ask you a question? he would rise to full length and he would ask, yes, my child, ask me, what would you like to know? That's Mechabed, the one who's Mechabed, who honors other people. He is the one that is truly honorable himself. And I'll leave off, there's a Maise with Rav, with Rav Pam. The Rav Pam, there was a, there was a boy in the, in the Torah Vedas community who was, um, he was, he was a bit retarded. And he wasn't, didn't understand things when he would speak to people. He was socially off. And on Simchas Torah one year, he comes running over, and Rav Palm, the great Rosh Hashim Torah, that's standing there. And this young boy, who's whatever, 10, 11 years old, he walks right over, he says, What's your name? So Rav Palm looks at the boy, he says, What's your name? So he says, My name is Yaakov. What's your name? He says, I'm Chaim Beryl. Chaim Beryl, nice to meet you. You're my friend now. I'm Yaakov and you're Chaim Beryl. We're friends. And then the Chaim Beryl goes and he grabs like a little baby Sefer Torah, like, you know, made out of one of these uh, stuffed things. And the two of them dance together in front of everybody. Ezel Mechubin, who's the honorable person? Not the one that gets all the respect that everybody stands up. He's the one that is Mechubin, that honors everyone no matter what age, no matter what background, no matter where they are coming from, you give them honor, make sure the honorable person yourself.